hello there guys how's it going this is gamer dudes here uh this is going to be a little update video for you guys i like to make uh, these every other month to try and sort of keep you guys posted and updated on what is going to be happening on gd gaming so um as you all know the year is coming to a close probably most of us are now on breaks and if not then probably by the end of this week many people will be um, sitting at home waiting for uh, Christmas or the end of the year to approach and whether you celebrate Christmas or not this is a happy time of the year everybody sort of relaxes and calms down and it's a period of yeah of winding down all the stress that was compiled throughout the year but here on GD Gaming it's been a wonderful year um, GD Gaming was started back in 2009. We didn't, I didn't have much success then, but uh, 2010 was a magnificent year for me. I uh, basically went from this unnoticed, unnoticed channel, very small, uh, struggling to get my uh, videos out there, uh, to this community here uh, with you guys supporting me. And uh, I just want to take the time and uh, thank all of you for all your uh, courteous support. Uh, it's It's been a wonderful experience, and I am going to try and continue to bring you guys uh, hopefully the same quality that made you uh, subscribe and come here in the first place. So uh, thank you very much for uh, sticking with me. So let's get right to what this month and uh, pretty much the next month uh, are going to cover. Starting off with Shogun, which is, uh, you know, the flagship game for GD Gaming. Uh, I did have a match for the Shogun Agony 1v1 tournament that I wanted to cast for you guys, but you're, you guys are not actually going to see it. Uh, because basically what happened is that I was uh, forced to play in a time uh, that was really bad for me. I, uh, sort of my fault initially, uh, because I did miss up uh, one scheduled time. Uh, I thought it was 11 o'clock in the morning, and it turned out to be 11 o'clock at night. So I ended up having to play the match at 3 a.m. in the morning. My opponent, Long Bullet Bob used uh, cheap tactics where he renamed most of his units to other unit names so uh, I was fighting his um, I think Naginata warrior monk cavalry thinking they were katana cav and I was fighting his uh, lone swords thinking they were katana samurai and I w he just mixed up all the names and at 3 a.m. in the morning when you're woken up by someone's um, uh, steam notification you're not gonna do very well so unfortunately I'm not going to be showing you th uh, that because I really don't know how I was, uh, how I'm going to commentate on it. I'm pretty much going to be butthurt about it, uh, as you can probably tell. But you know, I am going to be continuing the Shogun uh, Agony tournament coverage with Point Man, so I will be commentating on that if you're ever interested in it. Um, after that is done, however, or maybe after January, I am going to be hosting GDC T2, and uh, GDC T2, GDC T2 is going to be an open actually tournament I am going to assign certain slots first it's gonna be a 64 man tournament and uh, to enter the only thing you have to do is be subscribed to GD uh, gaming or the game reducer channel and then you'll be able to enter the tournament and uh, I'm currently working on the rules and I am probably going to set up a forum just for that event but uh, keep post uh, for uh, future updates on that issue the Westgate campaign videos as some of you may or may not know have been going on very well uh, it looked very grim for us at one point, but uh, we sort of managed to pull it back, and now it's actually starting to look really good. I'm looking forward to continuing that. I did get all the DLCs, as I said in previous videos, so I am going to be doing the Rise of the Samurai campaign before Fall of the Samurai comes to us. Uh, I'm also going to be continuing the co-op series with Fan of Gaming, who is back on board with us, which is great news for most of you guys. Um, I am trying to get a hold of him, but our time, uh, our time schedules aren't really matching up. Uh, right now, and if you're wondering what the game that you're seeing right now on your screen is, this is Shadow of the Colossus. And we're going to come to this in the end of the video. Uh, so moving on to the next uh, game that we pretty much do is Skyrim. Skyrim is ongoing, and I'm actually I've actually played a lot of Skyrim today, and I'm still going to play a bunch more. Maybe store up seven or eight episodes, and then I'm going to be pumping them out over the next few days. Um, Battlefield 3, the same thing. Karkhan came out uh, like last week, and I've been playing a lot of that also. Um, but it's sort of hard for me to um, record that game because of how graphically intensive it is. Uh, so maybe the Battlefield 3 coverage will be sort of staying the same. Not, I, I am covering it, but not covering it as much as, say, Shogun or Skyrim. Um, I'm also going to be throwing your way a couple of independent games uh, that some of you may know. Uh, they're classic games, in my opinion. Uh, we've got the Risk, 
game, and it's the Risk Faction, which you can purchase on Steam. We're going to bring you a gameplay of that, a solid hour of beautiful gameplay, and then we're also going to get a, a Worms uh, a reloaded game that was really fun to play, and I'm going to share it with you guys, so that's also stuff that's going to be coming uh, soon in the future. And then the biggest news, I think, for the month of December uh, and the month of January is the new series that I'm going to be starting on GD Gaming, and that is going to be the Nostalgia series, and this is going to be going back to the classical games that basically, for me, are the definition of the word nostalgic, and we're actually going to be shying away from the PC here. We're going to be looking at PlayStation 1 and PlayStation 2 games. I'm an avid console gamer, or was an avid console gamer, uh, until I switched over to the PC, and, you know, I still love to hold the controller and play games that are just you and the game. Uh, multiplayer is nice, being able to um, use your mouse and keyboard is nice, but sometimes I just like to wind down, get a, get a controller in my hand, and just play a game that I can relate to, that has good music, good graphics, good storyline, and that appeals to me as a gamer. Uh, the first series we're going to be covering in the Nostalgia series is going to be the infamous Tenchu series, which I must say got pretty much ruined when it went over to the Xbox. Um, the Tenchu Z game was a far inferior game to the previous ones, say Fatal Shadows or Wrath of Heaven on PS2. We're going to start all the way from Tenchu 1, we're going to go to Tenchu 2, which is Birth of Assassins, Tenchu 3, Wrath of Heaven, and we're try I'm going to try to play Tenchu 4, which was actually developed originally for the Wii. I'm going to see if I can get uh, an emulator on my PC to play it. I'm playing all these games on an emulator um, on the computer. Uh, so they are going to be rendered with a little bit of an advanced technology, and some of them may actually look better than their PS2 and PS1 counterparts. We're also going to be doing the Fatal Shadows, Tenchu Fatal Shadows, which is actually my favorite Tenchu game of all time, it's sort of like a spin-off uh, of the series. We're going to be doing that. And the final game that we're going to be covering is the game that you're seeing right now, Shadow of the Colossus. Um, it is my favorite game of all time. And I'll let you watch, um, after I finish talking here, uh, how this video wraps up. And you can see this is the first boss, uh, the, the first Colossus that you have to kill uh, in this game. And I'll cover that more in detail when we get to it. Um, uh, but uh, the question of the day today is going to be, what game do you guys know of uh, and like uh, that you would like me to cover in, in my Nostalgia series? I'm going to do one more game because the Tenchu series is going to be a five total of games and I am so excited to do that, uh, but it's going to be a lot of games, so I'm only going to take one game. Uh, what I have in mind now is a game from the Ace Combat series, and if you don't know what the Ace Combat series, look that up. It's pretty much one of the best, if not the best, uh, uh, dogfighting games out there. Uh, it's, it's definitely my favorite, the Ace Combat. I remember Ace Combat 5 or 4. Uh, I played that a lot on the PS2 also, so question of the day, what do you think is a game that should be added to the Nostalgia series? You can name any game as long as it is a PS1 or a PS2 games uh, that um, you can think of or that you've played. I'm not going to be doing uh, two games just because I feel they're overdone. No CTR or Crash Bandicoot because uh, even though I love that game, I really don't want to have to sit through it. <laughs> and two, uh, no Spyro. Uh, I was one of the people who actually didn't like the Spyro games too much. Uh, anything else is open for the market. Uh, but again, guys, I hope you enjoyed uh, this little update video. I hope you enjoyed the gameplay footage uh, of my favorite game of all time. And if you haven't played Shadow of the Colossus, you should definitely see to either getting a PS2 and trying this game, or getting yourself an emulator and buying it and playing it for yourself. Um, this game is going to be uh, ported. I think it already was ported in September this year to the PS3. Uh, with the uh, predecessor to this game, Eco, which was less appealing to me, Shadow of the Colossus, uh, I think was a much better game. Uh, it was remade for the PlayStation 3 with better graphics, and they're actually working on the next installment, which is called The Lost Guardian, and I might actually cave in and get myself a PS3 just to play that game, so I hope you guys enjoyed the upload video. Thanks for your ongoing support. Um, the more support I get, uh, the more uh, drive I'm given, and I'm able to continue on and give you guys uh, the best of my capabilities. Um, so yeah, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Remember to comment, thumbs up, and subscribe if you haven't already done so. And as always, I will see you in the next video.